I'm needing a Lexus. Shooting like Luca, I told him I'm next. Shit. Oh my God, I'm just playing with him now, yeah. Oh my God, what she saying? Say it loud, yeah. I wonder what goes on in here. Well, come find out. My name is Irina Badita. I am the Operation Manager of the London Institute for Healthcare Engineering, so I look after the processes of the Institute and the everyday running of it. Not a lot of science is involved in my job, uh, as in the hard science that you've probably heard from other colleagues, but a lot of the soft science is involved in what I do. If I could, I would advise my younger self to put less pressure on me. Careers are not something that you know necessarily from the moment you're born. They're a path. Um, and you learn as you go and you acquire more skills and that's what is important to be open and willing to grow. So my name is Tiana Lee, I'm a PhD student which means I do research. Um, my project is looking at fairness in AI for cardiac imaging, heart imaging, so I'm looking at a lot of fairness, bias and ethics. I needed a lot of different skills, so being able to think logically, think rationally, being good at doing research, being interested in engineering. I taught myself a lot to code, so um, that wasn't a necessary skill, but I did need to be able to learn how to do that. Sometimes I'm teaching, so I'm a graduate teaching assistant, which means I'll be um, helping with tutorials, like in computer programming, statistics. Um, if I'm doing my own work, then I'll wake up, um, look at my code, do some coding, until like lunch, um, maybe read some papers and continue coding for the rest of the day. My job role is an associate at Wick and Stones and I do market access consultancy. So market access is basically just helping pharmaceutical companies get their drugs to market, making sure that it gets to the right people at the right time. Um, at a decent price. It's not like practical hands-on lab stuff, uh, it's more you need some knowledge of the disease but that you can learn, um, you need some like basic math skills as well but you know you can work on that during the job as well. What I've learned on the job, so quite a lot of data analysis, um, learning how to like analyse clinical, clinical studies like those, those kind of things because you don't really learn about them in school at university I studied biochemistry, um, but a lot of people who do the same job as me, <coughs> we've done different life sciences. What motivated me was <laughs> my, my love for learning, I guess, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So my name is Dwayne James, I'm a specialist chief technician. So I left school um, knowing, knowing that I wanted to do plumbing or mechanics, found a plumbing course in college, um, applied for that, got into the course, um, subsidised it by working in Sainsbury's, left um, college after qualifying as a plumber, couldn't find work, stayed in Sainsbury's. Um, I met a lady who worked as a technician for KCL, asked her more about the role, and I started off my technician career in the anatomy department. Um, I was there for five years and then I came into this facility when they opened up. I think you're going to have setbacks in um, your career and it doesn't just necessarily mean job-wise, it could be something in your life that sets you back. But again, just don't, don't give up on it. Keep pushing forward for what you want. UK 
you can work in a lively environment. You could be an innovator. You could be the future of healthcare. You can embark on your future. I can do this too.